calling today's video. It's been a long semester. Let's catch up because it really has. I'm finally done with finals. I'm on Christmas break. What is life? I don't know. It doesn't feel real. Like I've been anticipating this for quite some time, but it just doesn't feel like it's happened, even though I don't have to do homework today. Woo! Before we even get any further into the video, please disregard the fact that I'm literally in my pajamas. I'm wearing glasses, cause I feel like it. And the fact that my hair literally looks crazy. Also, to get this quickly out of the way, cause I've told this story a million times, um, Yes, I sprained my wrist, woohoo. Um, I was walking on snow and then I slipped and my wrist kind of broke my fall. So she's not doing so hot, but it's okay. I should be able to take this little brace thing off in a couple weeks, so that's good. Um, hopefully by the time Christmas comes around, I won't have to wear it, but we'll see. We'll see. It's been a really interesting week. Anywho, if you're new here, hello. I hope you're having a good day so far. Um, my name is Isabella. If you're new here, I make lifestyle figure skating and vlog content, and I'm doing Vlogmas, which means a lot of videos. So, that means you should subscribe down below so you don't miss out, because there's still quite a few uploads left and coming, and I'm quite excited, and I hope you are too. Ouch, that kind of hurts, but... Yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> the worst part is I have a bruise like right here where like the, you know how these things have like little metal like inserts in them to keep your hand in place? Yeah, that's like pressing right on the bruise right now. And I can't really take this off because then my hand is super flimsy and it just hurts. So that's really convenient, but it's okay. We're gonna be okay. Thank you for all the regards. Today's drink of choice is ice water and we have my cute little Squishmallow that my best friend gave me for Christmas. Isn't this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, ow, okay. I keep forgetting that I actually can't do things with this hand sometimes, which is funny to me because like, I'll just try to pick something up and it's like, no, no ma'am, you can't do that. Like, that's not, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm going to just say one last thing about my wrist uh, because it was a part of the semester indeed. Um, basically, um, I'm the type of person who like is kind of like the walk it off type of person. Like when I get hurt or something, like I don't really like expect it to be that bad. Cause like with skating, if you don't know, I'm a figure skater. I've wiped out so many times and you know, some of the falls have really hurt and have knocked the wind out of myself. I've probably had a few concussions, <laughs> probably. <laughs> ha. Um, so like, I'm just kind of like the walk it off type of gal. Like, oh, the next day we'll just move on. So like when I actually get like serious injuries and stuff, I, it just like I almost like don't know how to act like I know what I have to do I just don't know how to act so if you see me accidentally lifting things with this hand um yeah feel free to call me out it is it's a personal problem anywho let's recap the semester wow it's technically over because it's on Christmas break I know my teachers are like you still have two weeks left in January no Mm -mm. it's over right now this is it like I'm not that's it for me that's fall semester y'all spring starts right in 2023 which is so weird that we're gonna literally be in the next year in a couple weeks that always blows my mind it feels so wrong but so right at the same time so basically if you don't know I started high school this year haha <laughs> it's honestly been kind of flat in my opinion like everyone's like oh like this is supposed to be like the greatest year of your life or whatever and I'm not saying it's like been all bad like there's been some really great times it's just not what I was expecting I feel like some really big points in a person's like educational life is definitely like elementary to middle school and middle school to high school obviously like college and like going into kindergarten or pre-k are like pretty big but we're just talking like under under undergraduate school <laughs> i had such a great year last year in terms of school and so i had really high expectations for this year and honestly it didn't live up to it thus far as much as i had hoped I'm not trying to say that I've had the worst year of my life. It's been pretty great, um, but it's just, it's different. So it's kind of different. And you know, we're all humans. So like when we approach change and stuff, it's just a little weird, a little unfamiliar and a little awkward. So sometimes, you know, that's just how I feel about this year. It's 
little. So I thought I would recap some of my favorite moments from this semester and also some of the most funniest, weirdest moments of the semester. And then also we'll go into some lows because you know what? Highs and lows, you know? Life is all about the balance. So let's starting off strong with literally yesterday. Yesterday was our final day before Christmas break, which was pretty crazy, but I kind of loved it because it's like one for the memory books. You'll find out why momentarily. All my friends are listening to this and they're like, yep, we all know. Yeah. Okay. Anywho. Um, so I had two tests yesterday. Not everyone does. Like everyone's schedules are just like a little different. Y'all, I can't move my hand. I'm sorry. Um, but we did take a lot of final stuff this week. I had uh, my biology final yesterday, which was honestly pretty easy and I'm really grateful. Fun times. And then I had a math test, which honestly, like, I felt pretty good about it. Like, I'm not saying, like, it's the type of test where, like, it wasn't that bad and I honestly feel like I could have done good, but at the same time, I'm a little iffy about it, you know? It's, like, good but iffy. So I'm happy. I'm happy everything just was, was very manageable yesterday. Um, then <laughs> the funniest thing happened. So we, like, were just, like, the bell just rang. We're like, okay, we just finished lunch. We're going to our next period, which for me is team sports, which is, like, this PE elective. Um, and literally right as we're about to leave, the actual fire alarm goes off. <laughs> Um, my best reaction of my reaction to that was me literally jumping around like a crazy chicken. Um, I was very much so startled because it's like the fire alarm's the weirdest thing, okay? It like flashes for like a second and you're like, hold on, like something's wrong. And then it starts going nuts. So um, uh, yesterday it was literally five degrees outside. It was windy. It was cold. It was snowy. Like it was so super bad weather to have a fire drill um and the problem was that like it wasn't a planned fire drill apparently some little kid pulled it i need a name because it was low-key really torturous and i'm gonna get to my point most of us didn't even have jackets or the right clothing on because we just changed for pe and we were in like short sleeve shirts and shorts or even like sweatpants like it was a hot mess and i decided to ever so graciously leave my jacket in the classroom and i wanted to go get it but they were like um ma'am it's a fire you can't go back in so i was like okay you know what rules are rules it's fine i'll just huddle up with all my friends yeah no we were outside for an hour straight in the cold um it was really really cold it was something to go in the memory books it was kind of crazy yeah what a way to end your final day of uh, 2022 at school a little a little funky you know that was pretty funny honestly like now that I'm looking back at it like in the moment I definitely did not appreciate it and I still don't know if I do but it was kind of funny like it was like the most ironic thing that could have happened on like your last day of school before winter break like I just thought that was funny okay now we can go to the day before yesterday another funny weird highlight of the month uh I literally sprained my wrist uh this was actually like in a video I yeah, I sprained my wrist. That was a funny highlight of this month. Like, I know it's not necessarily the greatest thing and I'm not enjoying it, but I just found that was really funny that I did it literally before my last day of school before winter break. And yeah, it was just like, it was so weird because like, I, like, I, <laughs> as soon as I stepped on that piece of ice I was like oh no like I'm going to fall like I just know you just know some things and yeah I still decided to break the fall with this hand what was the concept behind that we don't know um it was like it was like a slow motion type of thing like it went fast but it was slow motion in my brain and so it happened and then like my hand like went back super far and it was like Ugh, and all that bad stuff um and then afterward I was like shaking I was like oh, I don't know what to do it was it was it hurt really bad but it was kind of funny honestly like it was ironic in my mind because like I almost saw it coming but you know it's okay another highlight of this semester has been homecoming homecoming was really crazy honestly um so I got ready at all my friends house it was like my first ever school dance wow the only ever dance that I had been to prior to that was in like the second grade and I used to be a competitive dancer 
Uh, and I went to this daddy daughter Valentine's Day dance at my dance like company center. It was super fun. But yeah, it was like the first dance, like proper dance that I've been to. Well, it wasn't proper. It was honestly just a million high school kids dancing around and jumping like maniacs doing weird stuff outside. They had our homecoming outside, which like it was kind of interesting because it was slightly chilly but we were all sweating at the same time because like when you're just non-stop jumping for like three hours straight it's a little weird um i don't know how i feel about the whole outside scheme it was honestly just kind of chaotic it was really fun but i kind of did lose my voice and my ability to stand after that because it was just a long night um yeah i definitely slept for like 14 hours the next day because i just couldn't couldn't manage um yeah it was just a really fun but busy but like surreal time because it was like my first ever like monumental high school thing to happen which i was pretty excited about you know fun times ow oh i can't keep using this hand i feel like all the monumental things actually happened like this week um we had our english final presentation like production acting situation and we had like six days to prepare for it 70 lines in six days with acting and props and costumes and everything and I got like the best partner ever sweet as human you know who you are I literally had the lowest expectations of myself for that because I hate public speaking and I just wasn't looking forward to it but it ended up going so well like we were really in character and I was just really happy because it just went really great and I was not super nervous about it and everything just like kind of worked out for itself so I was really I was really grateful because usually before these things happen like I psych myself out I'm like too nervous to even function but it just it went really great and so I was very happy about that so that was a very like monumental happy academic situation I'm sure other things have happened but my memory kind of only goes to this Wednesday I'm really sorry um but yeah those are some highlights of the semester uh yeah it's just been fun um I've yeah it's, it's been it's had its highlights you know I just had an idea I thought I could like rank my classes this semester like how I felt about them I gotta be honest with you, like, my classes this year just haven't had, like, the best material. Like, the stuff that we're learning just hasn't been my favorite. Like, especially English. Like, I'm such an English girl, but I didn't really love it as much as I thought I would. The books that we've been reading are just a little, <laughs> you know? Um, I honestly, like, I don't know what to say. So, this is kind of going to be, like, based off of just, like, the material that we're doing and how much like I feel like I understand the class so I'm gonna say history is first it is a little bit of a more like you have to sit the whole time and listen type of class so it is a little bit more flat but honestly like the material hasn't been bad and it's been kind of interesting like we've had some fun projects and our teachers very knowledgeable so it's been a pretty good class uh number two I'm honestly gonna give it to math <laughs> okay hear me out I'm not saying that I like love this class. I've definitely uh, had my unfortunate moments in this class. It's just like, it's a really hard class, but we have a really amazing teacher. And I just like, like ever since COVID year, like I've just had a rough time with like understanding math because everything was just a hot mess. And like, I just like, I feel like I've been finally getting back into it, like understanding a lot more. So I just feel more successful. In this class so I just I've been feeling pretty good about math lately like it's not necessarily like the best class ever but you know it's it's been going well next up I'm gonna actually say my honestly I'll have to probably tie biology and team sports uh, maybe biology is a little higher biology like I don't like science I'm sorry to all you science lovers out there it's just never really come to me easily and it's harder for me to understand but like I don't hate it really it's not bad we have a fun teacher and um you know like it's actually been kind of interesting to learn about cells and stuff so I'm happy um team sports is an interesting class um we've had some interesting times there 
uh, but I will just have to give it a little higher range because we did do like nine or four square and like some fun stuff like basketball and I was successful a couple times so I'm happy about that it's been fun we have a really great teacher I I enjoyed it you know y'all some of you are gonna hate me for this I am not making this decision based off of the teacher it's just that the material and the assignments have been kind of rough on me this semester English like I was really happy that I ended it out this semester with that presentation because like it's just been really hard for me lately like it's just hard to understand like the books and stuff because they're in like the old English or whatever and like it's not this is not based off of like teachers and stuff this is just based off of how good I felt about classes this semester um but yeah it's just been kind of hard for me so that's probably why I put it at this position it's just been difficult you know it's been hard so yeah that's my main reason why like this is not like justified because of the teacher or anything like that's not why I made this decision it's just because it's hard you know everything's a little different and difficult this entire semester has been kind of rough around the edges. I just wasn't clicking with anything and I felt really out of place, like out of water. And I felt like I was riding on a different wavelength than everyone else because I don't know. It was just really difficult. So that was kind of like the major low. I'm glad it like over the past couple of months, it's gotten a lot easier, but it was just hard getting into it at first. Another low, I had like my first ever math test that I took. I didn't have the greatest outcome like it wasn't like the worst grade ever but it just kind of like sunk me a little because I was like not used to being so like unexperienced and just having such a rough time taking tests this year test taking has just been really different for me like I just feel like I could have studied for like five hours and still felt really unprepared if you will so I didn't get like the worst grade ever I just like it wasn't what I was anticipating and I just I felt really just out of place so that was kind of rough I'm glad to say that math has definitely like improved itself a lot so that was very successful but yeah after that I kind of just like had to like get over that and it was kind of just like a burden on me for a while I was like so like academic val validation is such a real thing like I'm such a perfectionist sometimes I don't like to show it or like talk about it very much but I just can be and so it was just kind of hard on me like at first I was like oh no like I just felt like I'd sunk or something so yeah happy to say everything else is going a lot better but the first test kind of just hit me hard so yeah anywho to kind of sum up the video some of the semester it has been one of the I don't know how to describe it. it's been one of the craziest semesters I've had uh, everything's different homework's different tests are different life is different people are different classes are different like head spaces are different like feelings are different it's just everything's different that's the that's the word of the semester different it's been fun at some points but it's also been really hard i am happy that we are done and i'm proud of myself for making it this far it's been it's been successful so i'm happy definitely been making some strides educational wise so i'm happy about that um but yeah you know it's been good to have this new perspective because it's kind of grounded me a little and change is always hard but it's good and it's just you know it's hard to get into at first but it's good for you um and yeah we all got this you know it's it's all difficult but we're we're making it through making our way downtown walking fast not gonna finish this so I don't get copyrighted. Anywho, that's just about my semester in a nutshell. My memory is not gonna stretch all the way to August because it's just not. It's been crammed with so much information and tests and finals and craziness that I won't be able to remember. But I hope you did enjoy today's video. It has been a long chat, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out. Lots to come. Today I'm going to a Christmas party with some friends. I'm going to vlog that. I'm very excited. We're going to go caroling. I've never done that before. I'm, like, really excited. I don't know if, like, my decent, like, minutely decent singing voice is going to come out. We shall see. Maybe I'll sound like a screeching hyena, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe down below. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.